And we're live. <laughs> I'll just keep saying hi. There you go. Yeah. Oh, time out. Time out. Sorry. Can't hear you, Denise. Yes, I do. I'm sorry. There we go. Done. Now I get to do all that again. Oh, sorry, folks. Yay. Uh, Stephanie will have to explain because they uh, they were only able to hear you. So oh, OK. Um, <laughs> so there are other people here that were speaking when you could only hear me. Um, I messed up something with the tech. So now we're starting over. Yay. <laughs> OK, countdown yes, from do. what, from three? I'm sorry. There we go. Done. Now I get to do all that again. We're good now. Oh, sorry, folks. Hi, everybody. Welcome to International Art Alliance Live. We're coming to you from around the world, right into your laptop, computer, desktop, computer, telephone, handheld computer, all the power of computing with all the art you could possibly love. My name is Ross. I'm calling from Los Angeles. I've got some of my artwork behind me. I specialize in comments about life using the word hi and today also we're joined by denise boisman pilcher hi denise denise hello is calling in from saint jerome quebec canada and uh has a pile of interesting plastic and a crate behind you so that that <laughs> sounds like a story i'm sure <laughs> and we also have stephanie mclean mclean coming from toronto canada who has a pondo behind her on her easel that looks fascinating to part of your your new series, Stephanie, your your uh, horoscope yeah. series? Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. Cheryl Wilcox from the, really literally the other side of the world and in Australia. And you've got two paintings behind you today, Cheryl, that look really new and amazing. Wow. Mm. That's not just one painting. Those are two paintings. Wow. What a gorgeous setup. And now she's going to scoot away so we can see. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm always greedy for art. I hope you folks are too. Yeah. And here's Rose yeah. Williams, who's just taken a sip of something delicious with a beautiful painting <laughs> with lots of birds in the background. That looks new too. Is that is that new, Rose? Sort of. Yeah, I like sort of take a long time sometimes. <laughs> I, hear, I hear you there. And today we have our special guest is Julie Brayton from Waverly, Rhode Island. And... Um, Julie was the first, was in our first uh, cohort of International Art Alliance and started the piece that we're going to be discussing today. And so, Julie, I think that you probably have, have something to say about uh, this one. Are we going to, what are we going to do? We're going to show live in, um, the video? Yes, and Julie, I'm going to be sharing the video. Hmm? Sharing the video. Okay. Yes. I was just asking. If you, you, I, yeah, sorry, you can uh, talk to... to <laughs> Julie, while I set up the video, I'll, uh, it's going to take me a second. Take a second to set up the video. Okay, Denise is, is running our tech, technology, so is Stephanie today. Because that's how tech we are. We need two people now to run it. <laughs> and here we go. Denise is presenting. Well, yes, but she also still needs to take off her. <laughs> There's our wonderful International Art Alliance logo.
There we go. And now I can start the video, hopefully. You can find it again. There we go. Rose, sorry. I there should be sound, but my sound, my computer has uh, issues today. So there's uh -huh. supposed to be sound. Uh -huh. But uh, right now, there isn't. <laughs> I, I, well, I apologize for that. I also cannot hear you right now. Because apparently my computer has decided that I am not uh, allowed to hear anything if I'm not wearing my earbuds. Wow. There we go. Wow. Well, uh, that was fascinating. Rose, your, your sound is coming in super popcorny and muffled. Yeah. You sound uh, like you're underwater. <laughs> or like a pterodactyl. You sound like you're underwater. Or like a pterodactyl. <laughs> a little Is bit. that a bad thing? So, uh, Julie, pterodactyls are fun. <laughs> you, so, you saw this. Uh, you, you really haven't seen anything on this painting along the way. This is your first time, I think, seeing how it might have come out. How did you start it? What, you, you generally paint landscapes, really, really beautiful landscapes and seascapes. And I think that's how you started this. What, what was your intention? So I, our theme was transformation. And so uh, I am a coastal painter primarily doing marsh scenes and waves and things like that. And I also am a colorist. So color is really important to my work. And so I thought it would be interesting to do a part scene that shows the transformation of no color into color. So it evolved into something upside down because the, uh, my, my land is on, in the sky, if you will, if there is any, even a sky. But... Um, it really came out cool. It's very <laughs> kind of mystical looking and really neat. I, I can't wait to hear what everyone else has to say about their addition to the, the piece. But that was where I, my mind was at when I started it. I find it really interesting that you, you mentioned that uh, the upside down part and, and the sky being upside down, because I remember throughout the process of this piece that every time a layer was added, we were debating which <laughs> way was up. <laughs> and it, at some point it even worked vertically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got, it, it, I don't even, I, I don't have words like rose, um, but it definitely. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, um, like the, the sky, it's like outer space and I don't know, a little bit of 
earth light, but outer space light and and I don't know this life is emerging out of it below. So maybe there's like life above and life below and different types of um, levels and like heaven and earth. <laughs> well, I love how that really speaks to your marsh and um, like uh, how, how you often portray marshland, these liminal spaces, these spaces between spaces. And it was so in this that that's really what kept, you know, we kept going with that beyond our consciousness, beyond our awareness, that there was a, a type of, um, like we're just at the threshold of whatever it is at each stage. We weren't going through e either way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I painted the layer right after Julie, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> Yeah, and, you did. And, and I saw rays of sun coming from Julie's piece that then I turned into the Hebrew word chai, which is a, one of the motifs that I used. Mm -hmm. And then who, who was after me? Lara was after you, which uh, I think she will jump in uh, when she arrives. Uh, she's going to be a little bit late today. Um, and then who was after, Rose, after Lara? Rose was next, Rose? right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and when I received it, I saw it the complete other way. <laughs> mm. So my the dragonfly was flying off into the sky when I painted it. Um, and then now it works just as well. <laughs> it's kind of strange. But uh, yeah, this, this one has gone through um, a true transformation. And it, literally, we switched the orientation of the piece. And I... Uh, kind of find that fascinating. I often do that with my work, turn it upside down or on the side and look at it like that for a little while. And, mm -hmm. um, but this one grew in a very organic way. Once it's again, funny because the piece itself. Yeah. Because Cheryl, you, you created this video and how did you, uh, did you decide which was up based on how the photos were, uh, situated when you got them? Yeah. Um, I, I took it from when I think you had a folder with a few and the transformation. So I decided that that must have been the way because I actually think that I thought it was the other way also. Yeah. The funny yeah. thing was that um, anyway, so the photographs were, there were a lot of photographs that needed to be changed. And I found that if I actually put them on my desktop, took them into iMovie, iMovie, even though I had rotated them, iMovie would rotate them back the way that the photographer did them. So I'd have to take it back out, put them into photos to really, yeah, it was really interesting. And so this was constantly going on, that iMovie was sort of saying, hey, listen, you've got this, this, yeah. Orientation. This, this, yeah. 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 So that's the through anyway, line throughout this piece entirely, like right yeah. up into the technology itself. Yeah. I remember yeah, we had a discussion at one point about uh, putting this piece on like a rotational display uh, uh, when we exhibit mm -hmm. it so it can be viewed from any angle. That would be really yeah. Stephanie, how did yes. you how did you work with this one? Um well, I looked I I reread all the uh, all the intentions of course um, and wanted to uh, <clears throat> kind of really make sure that we hadn't departed too far from Julie's original intention, which was basically this is a marsh and uh, there's a, a balance between dark and light. And that was my sort of takeaway from it. Um, and so I also kind of played around with the orientation, tried to figure out which way's up. And uh, seeing Rose's beautiful uh, dragonfly, I thought that guy needs something to eat. <laughs> I want, want to keep him alive. So uh, those are little mosquitoes. Because <laughs> dragonflies <laughs> love mosquitoes. And the mosquitoes, I also thought it should be the other way. Like in my mind, I thought, well, you know, the dragonfly is going up kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So the mosquitoes are going to be sort of above that, um, that, that sort of that white sort of cloud, I'll call it, that Denise had painted, I think. But now it kind of works, it kind of works with the dragonfly going down into the water. I find this piece really interesting in that um, it looks like there are four quadrants with the two, you know, the, the bottom actually being higher than the top. Um, I just, and I think, and I'm wondering if that's why we keep <laughs> turning it around to trying to find the perfect orientation. 
<laughs> no? Yeah. You could it's always cool. think of it um, if you're on the rock platforms or if you're looking at rock pools when you're down at the beach. And you know how when you look down and you view stuff from above? Mm -hmm. Right. Including yeah. the reflection. Yeah. 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 Because you get the vibe that there's holes and craters and water mm -hmm. and, and, you, and reflections. And reflections you see the and surface stuff. and to the depth at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, I think Laura joined, joined us. us. Yes. Laura's joined us. Hi, Laura. Hi. Sorry for um, the late. Uh, no, but, uh, no, sorry. No, sorry. I have, uh, a little problem. <laughs> Some real life, huh? Some yeah. real life. Well, here, here you're with us now, and we're looking at um, the piece that Julie had had started so long ago. And Hi, Julie. I don't, even know if, <laughs> I don't know if, even if you remember working on this. This was quite a while. Ago. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I think I was the second, the third, uh, third. I think you were the third. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. there was, yeah. and um, I remember that I, uh, to be honest, in this moment, I don't remember the intention, but I remember that I tried to balance <laughs> the uh, because I've seen, yeah, as Stephanie was saying, like four quarters and. I managed. I tried to to work on half uh, of uh, what I was seeing, watching. Mm. I, I added the the light blue in that could be water or sky. Depends on what you want to see. <laughs> or the reflection of the water of the yeah. sky in the water. Or right. Mm -hmm. So I just noticed yeah. something else about this that I think speaks to everything that we've already said about, um, you know, which, which way to which way is the like there really isn't a correct way, and and it's sort of like if you fold it over and then open it up if, as if it was what do they call that a Rorschach test, you know, a dot test because it's got the symmetry happening yeah. and 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 reflected on both sides. So yeah. in a sense, it's a Rorschach test for, for us to have a discussion about this painting and what it means and uh, transformation and liminal spaces and um it really is quite beautiful cheryl did you add these the, like this the sky parts there that are like the dots and stuff like that i'm just guessing based on what yeah I, I think that i did the darker areas what were you thinking just... when you what was your thought when you did that or your intention? What I, were you actually, trying to I do? actually thought it was the other way. So I was actually grounding it. Can we so see it the other way, it... Denise? Yes, I can yeah. turn it around. Yes, I can. Uh, I think I should be able to. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Ross, when you yeah. were talking about folding it and opening it up, all I could envision was the uh, dragonfly flying out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting squished. Oh no! <laughs> I, could I do actually. Like that it. would be really cool. Animated. Wow, this looks really great this way. I love this. I like. Yeah, I really like it this way. This is the way that I. Yeah. That I also <clears throat> thought it. It. You know, that's the way I thought it was supposed to be, kind of thing. And I. I do okay. really like it this way. Because to me, well, the dragon tie oh, should be growing up. But. Well, when you talk mm -hmm. about grounding it, Cheryl, I can see now with this way. Yeah. Yeah. How you, how you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. So that was what I was doing. I was just actually making it like pulling it to the ground and that's, and I added a lot of the, the darker colors on the bottom mm -hmm. to give it that. But also in the top, mm -hmm. right, right? The, the blue, uh, not the, the, the teal blue that Laura added, but the, the more, uh, ultramarine blue and the pink the areas on the other side in the sky. Those mm -hmm. are yours too, Cheryl. Are they? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, yeah, I think so. Um, I, I think it had a lot of um, light in it, mm -hmm. and it had a, um, a lot of the board. And I'm sort of like, oh my god, there's a space. Let's fill it. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like, yeah. oh my god, I've still got paint on my palette. I'll just fill it out. And so a lot of times, yeah, I, yeah, I just sort of always fill the space. I, I like that you can still see the chai in it too. Yeah. Me too. But where is that? Is that the pink? Yeah, yeah the there pink are two one? of them. The, the pink, the pink one to the uh, 
to the to the right two o'clock of the of, of the yes. dragonfly yeah i see the, that one would that be the 10 o'clock yeah. also upside yeah, down yeah, underneath that a, gray, blue. a gray pencil yeah, yeah. It's oh. blue, blue side. i yeah. see it thank you thank you yeah it's pretty cool yeah it's I, like I it's, it's like, like to thing. life <laughs> yes no it's great I'm and with the dragonfly it. flying out like I like yeah. it a lot. I think I want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a positive. Yeah. Yeah. We're splitting it seven ways, Julie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I wonder if you, if you guys had, had this experience. So when I was watching the video, I was really at the edge of my seat. It was like a, a re revealing a mystery what is going to happen next? I mean, I just couldn't even guess. And it was always so satisfying to see what came out. I was like, wow, really? I didn't expect that. Did, did anybody else have that kind of experience watching the video and seeing how it was developing? Yeah, it was like a yeah, spiritual experience. Yeah, I think it's specifically because this piece underwent such a uh, enormous transformation, even layer by layer. Uh, there was just mm -hmm. such distinct changes and i think that is because it was so subtle uh, when you first started it julie there was a lot of mm. space to work with and and mm. every addition felt like a huge um like impact almost mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah and and like a reveal almost like like the word palimpsest it's almost like it was there and and we're kind of revealing the layers as opposed to adding them in a sense it's like yeah. we were we, we were doing an archaeological dig. <laughs> well, it, it's it's yeah, it's sort of the other way around almost, where it 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 it, it sort of kept growing outwards and and growing mm -hmm. and growing. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of a I, I I find this one actually we is is also like the last one we talked about the one that. Um, had the dark background and it was like mm. so delicate. This one had such a sensitive touch all along. Everybody mm. kind of honored that sensitivity that it started with. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, an interesting point <clears throat> that there's the actual the, the the touch that the that the foundational artist had used that then gets I don't know like like I don't even know how to how to describe that. It's like we did. It's like we reflected and danced with the original mark makings, yeah. you know, like right, like some right. of us like kind of re repeated, and some of us did the contrast of of it and the and the and the mirror, and it's just like, but all of us were responding to that original delicacy mm. that Julie mm. started it with. Mm. Yeah. So Julie, yeah. I'd be interested to hear, uh, like, keeping in mind. Uh, the the theme but, but also your initial intention with which you started this painting how do you feel about it now do you feel it it is it has lived up to your initial intention absolutely it, um it, you know the uh, dragonfly is almost like it's been transformed and you know emerging out of this I don't know. Again, Rose, <laughs> help me with the word. <laughs> from, that, from that dark and light contrast, it's coming from that, like you talked mm. about in your intention. Mm. Yeah. The dark and the light. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, who did the top left with the blue and kind of purpley in the, up there? The swirls Cheryl the, and the, Denise. That's Cheryl. No, Cheryl. Oh, Cheryl? I actually added a lot of the yellow dots at the bottom. Oh. And I mirrored uh, some of the uh, white areas in the top there, yeah. in the pink. Mm. Mm. And yeah. also you added a bit of texture, didn't you, to Denise? Not really. I, I genuinely just uh, tried to balance out, because uh, when I received it, there was a lot of, um, if you look at the bottom right corner, there were a lot of yellow dots there that were not on the other side. And I felt that there was some sort of a reflection from the sun happening mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. where it needed to be balanced out. And then mm -hmm. in the top, if you look at uh, the blue, um, the larger blue area that, that Lara painted, there's a, a white shape in there, like a, a white sort of mm -hmm. uh, round shape. And I wanted to mirror that on the other side because the pink area on the other side is, is a mirror image of the blue. 
uh, mm -hmm. but the white didn't quite match. So I, I used tracing paper okay. and carefully uh, just to balance mm -hmm. out the two, the two sides of the, of the piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love how that blue that starts in the center and goes out has dimension. You know, it's it's rounded. It's mm -hmm. you know gradated or whatever. And then the upper left corner there, the strokes. The you see the brushwork, which mm -hmm. I really love that. Now I, I was thinking also that it seems like the four season in some way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really does, Laura. Yeah, mm. it really, really does. That's interesting. I think we yeah. should set and also the Valdi's Four Seasons music to this. <laughs> <laughs> There's almost like the shape of Australia is underneath that cloud that Lara did. Wow, it's mm -hmm. almost like an Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, well, it almost is. Like, almost like the Mediterranean coast, also. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You see the, the boot of Italy and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. We're international on so many levels. <laughs> That's right. <Yeah. laughs> That's great. Uh, what yeah. was that? What was that? Um, what was that definition of art? Whatever you can, whatever you can get away with. You know, that's that sort of thing, isn't it? Whatever you yeah. do. <laughs> well, I think this has more merits than just like what we're getting away with, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Think was it, it Warhol or somebody like that in the painted word? It was that sort of thing, wasn't it? Whatever you can, yeah, get away with. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, no, <laughs> this one actually seems to have a cohesive kind of um, emotion to it, you know, startlingly. <laughs> I love the well, whole, I, I love that, the I fact that, you know, Mr. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Go on, sorry. No, I was just going to say, like, the fact that this is a marsh, um, I just, I can, now I can, oriented this way, I can actually, I can see the marsh, it looks like, you know, and it's it's reflecting the sky. And I love the highs in there. And, you know, the fact that this dragonfly looked like it was born in that marsh and is now just like, it, it's yeah. the high gave it life, the, the, the marsh gave it life. And now it's, it's, uh, it's heading for the sky. It's not, it's great. Yeah, kind of coming from the dark, going into the light. Yeah. 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 See, and I thought it was the sunrise over the rocks down here in Roca Beach. Because yeah, that's what that looks like. The sun's there and then the rock platforms. Ah. Mm. And then, you know, you've got all the, the rock, the rock um, you know, the rock pools in the foreground. That's what that looks like. <laughs> well, it certainly yeah. maintains. That, that sense of depth that Julie started it with. Yeah. You know, it's not that kind of, that depth, e either either orientation. But if we all feel that this is the correct orientation, I will change it on the website before I release the image into the world. Yeah, and we can do it. We can do the same thing with the, um, um, with the video. Yeah, that might be a good idea, Cheryl. Yeah, so we can make a decision on that and see how we go, what we think. Yeah. So if there's any audience here today, other than, than us discussing this, maybe you could chime in and tell us what you think. You think that it's more that the uh, dark part is on the ground or the dark part would go on the top? And also, I guess we're probably looking for titles for all these we pieces. Are. So if anybody has mm -hmm. ideas for titles, as you see them, as they arise on your screens every week, let us know what you think it might be titled because you know, we have our own ideas. We want to hear from you, too. I and do. I have an of... idea, but I'll be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> that's, your, that's your idea. That's your idea. Here's, here's to life. With, here's with to seven, life. With seven people to debate a title, that, that's a whole job <laughs> unto itself. <laughs> it's going to take forever to title We're going to palimpsest up. that, too, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll scratch out each one's idea and <laughs> I'm wondering can we go back to our regular screen to see each other and we can maybe yes. uh, talk about what's what's on our docks here yes, um Denise why do you have all this plastic stuff in the background <laughs> what's going on uh my my solo exhibition is uh, almost over 
uh, it ends on, uh, well, officially it ended today, but we're extending it a couple of days uh, until Sunday because I'm holding an artist talk and we are going to have a little bit of a tea ceremony presentation from uh, a tea ceremony specialist uh, in uh, Toronto. So that's very exciting. And that's happening at the gallery on Sunday from uh, two to five. Uh, and after that, uh, I'm going to have to take the show down and bring it all back with me, which means I have to bring the packaging. And the, the wood is unrelated. The wood is actually because we are renovating our upstairs bathroom. Oh, oh, that was, that's not <laughs> the crate kind of at all. Floor. You shipped it all in. <laughs> yeah, the other crates nice. are all on the way somewhere. On their way. Oh, wow, wow. You've got a, got a great bunch of stuff happening. What's the address of the gallery? What's the name of the gallery? Um, it's uh, called Latitude 44 Gallery. They're on 2900 Dundas Street West. And uh, again, the event is from uh, 2 to 5, and it's uh, totally free, so everybody's welcome to come. This it. Sunday, everyone. It. Nice. This Sunday. <laughs> yes, this Sunday. Thank yeah. Thank you. Um, Very nice. Laura, you had posted a beautiful painting with a, yeah. a very touching comment. I don't know if it's on Facebook or Instagram where, where mm. I saw it, but it was... Probably both. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 what, what's your handle on Instagram? Uh, on Instagram. On Instagram. Does that is that painting you're in the middle of it now or you finished it or where, where's it at? No, 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 it's not finished. It's just uh, it was just the the first layer because I'm trying I'm experimenting to for the next uh, series and uh, because in my mind I had uh, I have another idea and then. And this, last uh, two days in, in, I I started yeah uh, because I want to, to create a, a series of a portrait but with uh, some yeah some meaning I was saying, okay it's a uh, it's uh, you, you know that it's a long path uh, when you start something new and uh, I want to uh, to create, uh, I have in my mind, uh, but you know, what, when it's in your mind, it's not uh, the same on the real <laughs> world. So when you try, you have to try to try. So uh, this one it was uh, the, the only one that came as I I want to be. Uh, oh, that's fascinating. And, well, it's it's a beautiful I, picture I, I, so I far. I didn't post it, uh, the, the, the ones that, that I don't like, because there was a <laughs> yeah. way to do that, right? Yeah. But it, it, had, it had really a feeling of resolution and- Sorry? It, it had a real feeling of it being already resolved. I couldn't really tell, is this the, it could have very well yeah. have been your finished painting. Yeah, I'm worried because I like it, like it is. Uh, in theory, it's not finished, so I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> let's see. But I, I'm happy because I think I'm in the right path uh, for the next uh, series. Yeah, it keeps going. <laughs> nice. It's really beautiful. It's got great nice. colors too. Yeah. And Rose, was it last night that you had done your talk, healing and yes, art? we did. We did a, a Zoom um, art talk about art and healing. I did it with uh, two other artists, Laurel and Lauren, and uh, it was part of the event programming for the Eastside Culture Call. A huge open studios events, uh, there's over 200 uh, art studios open, like there's several different buildings. It's all within the same east side, down, downtown east side, Vancouver area. You could go on eastsideculturecrawl.ca website and get all the information. And my studio will be open next week from the 17th to the 20th. It's gonna be a marathon, come to 209 1000 Parker Street. And uh, I'm gonna have lots of goodies little video about what I do and um, also taking part in um, one of the uh, satellite, satellite shows at the, uh, at the cult. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Rose. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of echo, echoey going yeah. on here. Yeah, <laughs> Stephanie, bit. you've got, a, you've got a, new, a new round piece in your, in your series. What, I do. What I have to. I represent? Um, I'm calling her Queen Aquarius, <laughs> or the Aquarian Queen. I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's that's what she and she represents. Um, 
basically the, the symbol of us of, of Australia. Oh my goodness, of Aquarius. Um, I I had some touch ups to do, as you can see. I'm not. She's the work in progress. It's beautiful. Nice. Oh, thank you. So she's the water bearer. Yes. Mm. Yes, but you know I'm I'm doing portraits, so it's hard to show her as a water bearer. There's going to be an Aquarius sign in there somewhere. Well, I love that you're doing <laughs> portraits to express the, the 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 you know like this more archetypal state of of the the signs that you know you're not just showing water, you're showing the person and yeah. how it might relate. It's a, such an interesting take on the whole idea. Thank you. Hopefully, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think it's probably working. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cheryl, you've got, is this, is, this isn't the same piece that you showed us before, is it? That was a triptych and now yeah. this is the diptych of? Uh, the, the other piece is here. Oh, it's, ah. it's the triptych. Ah. Oh my goodness. Look how this works together. It's extraordinary. It actually, are you, are I you, think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go on. Go on. I think that piece goes down here. Oh, I see. You're still rearranging them. <laughs> You're still <laughs> rearranging them. <laughs> I love it. That goes down there. Yeah. <laughs> this is happening last week. Well, <laughs> when, when you, that's when the you, first one. I know. When you sell it, it's going to go into somebody's <laughs> space and it's in C2 and you're going to go, no, now it's going to go this no, no. way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could always turn it upside down. <laughs> I love that. It's fabulous. Down. And Julie, <laughs> you're, I, I heard a rumor about your studio that you're moving. Yes. <laughs> you're turning things upside down. Absolutely. Are um, you staying in Rhode Island, I hope, where the light I is just working? I am staying in Westerly, Rhode Island, but um, really going to be focusing on the online space, selling my art, and doing my uh, courses on how to paint the color of light. So um, that's You'll see a lot of me through social media. If people are on my email list, they'll hear more from me there. I have a great group that actually respond to me when I send them emails, so that's really cool. Mm. But um, I offer nice. specials. If you're on my list, I offer specials. So I will be having a moving sale and some offers. So. <laughs> exciting. Change is always exciting, I find. <laughs> I'm excited. Absolutely. A lot, a lot yeah. going on. How, how, do they, how do people find you to get on your mailing list? Where do they go? JulieBraytonFineArt.com. Julie Brayton Fine Art. Is it all one word? Yes. Dot com. Great. Great. Does anybody have anything they want to say before we sign off for today? Any it was so oh. nice seeing you again, Julie. Yes. I want to say that Julie. too. Yes. Really yes. nice to see you. Guys, I'm, <clears throat> I'm trying to get, to, I'm, I'm trying to write a book. Wow. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. I saw how you posted your chapter. That was fabulous. Yeah. So exciting. And so on my on my bicycle trip, on my cycling trip, I'm going away. We're doing about 600 Ks. So wow. I, I have a I'll have to show you my little palette I've got worked out. <laughs> And Lara, you did a book too. You're writing a book too. Painting <laughs> must go on. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got a little DV, a little DVD container. Oh, wow, oh, that's smart. That is awesome. Very smart. And so yeah, if you just, cool. you know, I, I usually use gouache just because it's opaque, not watercolour. Mm -hmm. But I'm just mm -hmm. saying, you know, you can just put your colours uh, that, that dries. And there's your little palette, see, and... and, and it even has those little things to brush. <laughs> that <is> so <laughs> That's so Genius. smart, Cheryl. Genius. So creative. And then if you like, and then you can get one of your little paintings. <laughs> I love it. That is awesome. That's so smart. <laughs> that is really cool. Is That's that what you just start a trend, Cheryl? Yeah. yeah. Cheryl, thank you. And and Laura, Stephanie mentioned that you're, you're now you're writing the third in your series now? Uh, uh, no, I already wrote the, but I haven't yet published the third one. Uh, probably I will publish in December. But so I'm writing, one. I'm writing a, a murder mystery. Wow! No! Wow! Wow! Do you have anybody in mind for the victim? I, I, <laughs> I, I, 
I didn't hear. Sorry. I was asking if you had anybody in mind as the victim. Just. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting, Lara. What gave you that so idea? <laughs> what gave you the idea to write a murder mystery? Yes. <laughs> but so how did you come up with that idea? To, to, no, no. But uh, to be honest, at the beginning, I had an idea. Then the idea changed uh, while I was writing the outline. And uh, now I'm at the chapter number 12. But I, I have to write like 38 chapters. So... <laughs> oh, it's so long. your process? Do you write in Italian? You write in Italian, and then you then you translate it, if if it or yeah. someone else translates it. No, no, no. I, I translate. I have the editor oh. who writes the, the translation. Okay. Nice. Oh, cool. Do you have a working Very title? Cool. Sorry. Do you have a working title? The title of the first novel. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth to say. Yeah, I have the title because uh, I started from the title. I've already also created in some way the the cover, but I will change the cover for sure. Sorry, it's my dog that is under the... <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't know if I, it's worth... To, if I, it's don't good don't to go say, there if you're not comfortable. Yeah, just keep yeah. going to wrap for now. It's a long journey. I think it will be ready in <laughs> February, probably. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Sure you sure the name isn't Julie? <laughs> Since I... <laughs> what did you say, Julie? I didn't hear you. Sorry. You sure the victim's name isn't Julie? Because I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of... <laughs> Exit I think we all forgive you for being the youth. <laughs> yeah. We just really Instead enjoyed you just... that you hung out with us today. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, thank it you for really joining nice. us. Nice and treat. Especially because we got to show this one this one painting that you were foundation for. It's real and we had a lot to talk about today about it. So I'm so happy you were yeah. able to show up. And we're gonna be here also next week with another painting with another foundation artist who started that painting. And uh, you get to hear all of our hows and whats about each one of them and find out what we're all doing new and different and uh, come join us again. Thank you so much. It's so good to see everybody. Love you all. Bye. 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 Bye.